Okay, so what you have in front of you, it says write the following in standard form. So could anybody tell us what do you think is meant by standard form? It's not quadratic, okay, it's clearly not quadratic because I've got some higher exponents. But in one and two, what do you think I mean by put it in standard form? If you had to make a guess. Yeah, Alex? I'm going to get one side. Oh, I, have, I do have a guess. There's no equation. There's no equation. Mia, what do you think? Oh, is it like greatest, like, exponent to the least? Yes, that's it exactly. Okay, so in number one, you're going to go from highest exponent to no exponent. So when I have a constant like 5, that's no exponent. So try this with number 2. And then three and four, I want you to tell me how many terms are in the expression. So number two, be careful with your signs. That would be negative x to the seventh. Mm -hmm minus 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4. All right, number three, I don't ask you to put it in standard form, but I just ask you how many terms are there in number three? And what, what do I mean by terms? Uh, exponents? No, terms are not exponents, yeah. Yeah, what do you think? Can I just guess what it is? Sure. Is it three? It's three. Because terms are separated by addition or subtraction. So 6 is a term, negative 7x squared is a term, and 3x is a term. So now let's look at number 4. How many terms are there? 5, okay. All right, so we're going to write some definitions here. I actually have quite a few. A polynomial function... has distinguishing behaviors and you look at its algebraic form and know something about its graph and vice versa. So if you look at a graph, you should be able to tell something about the polynomial function. A monomial A monomial is a real number, a variable, or a product of a real number, and one or more variables with whole number exponents. So here are some examples. 3x squared is a monomial. It's one term. I could have a, a constant, let's say negative 7. That's a monomial. 8x to the 11th is a monomial. So I put three different examples here. The degree of a monomial is the exponent on the variable. So if I give you 3x cubed, the degree is 3, the exponent, okay? A polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials. So a polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials. Here's an example. What if I give you 3x to the fourth plus 2x minus 1? Okay, that's a polynomial because I've added together three monomials. The degree of a polynomial In one variable is the highest exponent among all its monomial terms. Again, the degree of a polynomial in one variable is the highest exponent among all its monomial terms. 
So here's an ex the same example. 3x to the 4th plus 2x minus 1. What's the degree? What's the highest exponent on any of the terms? 4. So the degree of the polynomial is 4. I don't say 4, 1, and 0. Those are the individual monomial degrees, but when I want the degree of a polynomial, it's the highest one you see, the highest exponent. Even into okay. All right. A polynomial with the variable x defines a polynomial function So a polynomial with the variable x defines a polynomial function of x. So I've been doing these, so like I could say, um, and I could make it f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. What would be the degree of that polynomial? 2, okay, the highest exponent you see is 2. We can classify a polynomial by the degree or the number of terms. So today we're doing a lot of vocabulary and we're going to pause and practice it. <clears throat> Once we get through um, this first sheet, we're going to pause and, and practice. So if I have degree 0, the name is a constant. If it's degree 1, it's linear. Degree 2 is quadratic. So, so far in your, your math careers, you've already been dealing with constants. So that's like 5, negative 7. They don't have a variable. So the degree was 0. Linear, y equals mx plus b, so it was x to the first. You did quadratics. We just finished a quadratic unit. If the degree is 3, it's called a cubic. <coughs> degree 4 is a quartic. So think of 4 quarts in a gallon. So quartic is different from quadratic. And 5 is quintic. Anything higher than that, we just say it's 6th degree, 7th degree, we use the number. But these first 6... Constant, linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, quintic. So we're just going to get used to these. So one way to classify a polynomial is by its degree. The second way to classify it is by the number of terms. If it has one term, it's called a monomial. And we've actually been using these because you learned this in Algebra 1, right? You did monomial, two terms is a binomial. What did we call three terms? Trinomial. trinomial. Okay, trinomial. We did a lot of factoring with trinomials. If you have four or more terms, we just call them a polynomial. Yes, poly means many. Okay, so in example one, I'm going to pause and I want you to put it in standard form. Okay, standard form means highest exponent down to no exponent or lowest exponent. Then I want you to put two words underneath it. You're going to put the name by its degree and the name by the number of terms. So let me pause. All right, so example one, if I put it in standard form, it's 5x to the fourth. 
plus 3x cubed minus x. Who would like to tell me the two names that go with this? Yeah, Chris? Is it quartic and binomial? It's quartic because the degree is 4, but binomial means how many terms? Two. How many do you have? Um, three. Three. Okay. So it's quartic trinomial. All right, letter B. Negative 4x to the fifth plus 2x squared. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to catch a few of you on this one. You can combine like terms before you name them. And actually, you have to combine any like terms before you combine them. All right, so Julia, can you tell me your two names? Quintic, because it's degree 5, and trinomial, because after I combine like terms, it has just three terms. Okay, so now what I've passed out to you